Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Rentschler. Thank you for joining us tonight. There is still no timeline for when residents on Barton Beach Road can return home, but today neighbors were out looking at the damage and comforting one another. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports on their experience. I'm lost for words. What words can't describe can be seen in pictures. Two days after an ice jam on the Wildcat Creek caused neighbors to evacuate their homes on Barton Beach Road, they came back to see what happened. Debbie Philpott has lived on the road for 30 years. On Sunday, she remained in the pajamas she was wearing when county officials evacuated her Friday morning. Well, when the water was just flowing down, it was nerve wracking, but seeing all the ice and the damage now afterwards, it, it, it's just devastating. Philpott's neighbor, Edith Austin, feels the same way. The ice. The ice is oh. An example of just how strong these pieces of ice are. This tree was pushed up against the home behind me. It opened the bedroom window, and then water was allowed to rush into the home. Ice also showed its strength on neighbors' cars. An ice jam came and took it, and it was between the house and the tree. And it broke again and it slid that way. I don't know how many inches of ice it's under. It, it's totaled. Phil Pot and Austin are trying to assess the damage, but high water is making it hard to get up close. With no timeline on when they can return to their homes, both are staying with loved ones. Austin rented her home. Phil Pot says she does not have flood insurance. Where do you guys go from here? Uh, up. What can you say? You can't go down no farther than what we are. Reporting in Tippecanoe County, Kelly Roberts, News 18.